With GraphPad Pro, users can calculate both the area and perimeter of closed shapes, as well as fill those shapes with color. In order to calculate an area, users must be in line mode. They must select a series of lines and arcs. These lines and arcs must be in order, and they must form a closed shape. In this case, we're going to take this simple geometry and we're going to calculate both the area and the perimeter, as well as fill this with color. Go to line mode, and we select our lines. When we finish selecting our lines and complete our closed shape, we get a menu which allows us to change our line parameters as well as create our area and also to calculate our area and perimeter. In this case, we're going to color our area um, a grayish color. We're going to turn the calculations on and we're going to calculate. So we see our estimated area as well as our perimeter. Now in GraphPad, the calculation is actually done by a fill, uh, pixel fill algorithm. So everything in GraphPad is to scale. So we can fill this area with pixels. We know the size of a single, single pixel. Therefore, if we calcul um, calculate the number of pixels multiplied by the area, we get the estimate for the area. Now we do have to notice that this is going to be an estimate, and therefore the area calculations are not exact. Perimeter calculations, on the other hand, are the sum of the line lengths and line arcs, which we also know in GraphPad. And so, therefore, perimeter calculations are exact. We should also note that when we fill the area with color, we actually create a group as well. And so we can rotate this object, but we can no longer resize it, just like any other group. So how accurate is our estimation? So if we take this one by one uh, triangular uh, filled area, we notice that uh, when we calculate it, we get an estimated area of 0.5 square feet, and that's 1 times 1 times 0.5, and so in this case, um, and for most cases where we're using straight lines, the area estimation is actually quite accurate. We do have um, the rasterization along uh, any sort of edge that's at an angle, and therefore there might be some minor discrepancies, but almost always it's going to be within 1%. On the other hand, when we have areas that are composed of curves, um, the accuracy drops off. Now let's take an example in this case where we have a circle which is 0.5 feet um, and we look at our area estimate and we have 0.8 square feet. And if we go through our calculation, we know that pi times the radius squared is our calculation. So uh, 0.5 squared times 3.14. That gives us a calculation of 0.78 or a net we're within about 2% error of our actual calculation. And that's area calculations for GraphPad Pro. Thank you very much.